Now we want to, to play a proactive style of football and on the ball and off the ball. Eric Ten Hag, baby. We're about to see what it's all about. Manchester United's first game of the preseason kicks off against Liverpool. And in what I would say quite an intriguing interview that he's given with Manchester United, he's given a bit of insight into the, the inner thought process, the, the inner workings of Ten Hag and the blueprint and the plans he has for changing Manchester United, for transforming Manchester United. And my, how we need it after David Moyes, Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Radnick have got us to this point where we need somebody with a strong vision to actually take us forward. And that man is Eric Ten Hag. I was excited when the appointment was made and that excitement is only building. Yes, we need more signings. I'm not here saying the team's complete, all right? But I want to run through this full two-part interview with Eric Ten Hag where I think he gives a lot of insight and, and sort of opens the door a little bit for fans to sort of understand exactly what he's trying to do. And, and I like doing videos like this on United People's TV because although you can get caught up in the transfers, I think it's important to focus on these things too. So make sure you do watch the whole thing. If you do enjoy it by the end, drop a like on it. Maybe subscribe if you fancy it. But let's run through this interview. And I've highlighted some key points that I would like to run through with you. Our first question is a bit boring. You know, how are you feeling now? You've got a chance to set up. He's enjoying himself at the club. You know, just from being around here for the last few weeks, you have brought real energy to the club straight away. And he said, look, I think it's the way I am. Of course, I want to bring energy to the team, but I must say the players are doing very well. And that's one thing he has said the whole time so far, is that the players have responded to Eric Ten Hag's demands and what he's asking of them. But it's that new energy that I think you can really, and I, I've definitely seen in the first couple of weeks of this preseason, it seems different. It feels a little bit different. And of course, it actually technically is different because it's Eric Ten Hag. But I, I like the early signs. I'm not, I'm not going overly positive here, uh, naively positive. But I like the early signs. As I said, that new energy was required. Jeez. Uh, what are you doing? What are you sorry? What are you hoping to learn about these players? And I thought this was quite an interesting point he raised here. He said, we have two weeks to work really closely together and we will learn about each other. Because I want to learn about them and they want to learn about me, my coaches and my assistant managers. This team, apart from Donny van der Beek there, will have no idea really what's sort of hit them in this preseason. It's something brand new. And it, we need brand new at the club, right? Because if you go down here and this, this, this part here, it, it's, uh, Eric Ten Hag is asked about Steve McLaren and the fact that he still knows the culture of Manchester United. I'm not sure I know what the culture of Manchester United anymore is. I'm not sure Steve McLaren had any idea what this Manchester United... He might, under, he might remember what it previously was like under Fergie. But that culture's disappeared. And we all hoped there was going to be a big cultural reset under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Remember that. I remember being a big av advocate of that. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, as it transpired, was the arm around the shoulder and let too many players get away with too much. And the player power took over at Manchester United. And that's the culture that now exists at the club. That's the culture that he needs to get rid of. So the idea that, that Steve McLaren knows the culture, yeah, he knows what the culture used to be, but not what it is right now. But this preseason tour is going to be the opportunity to get to know these players. And a lot of these younger players are going to set a tone that these senior players really have to uphold to. Really, really good, I think so anyway. I go down there speaking about Mitchell van der Gag. There's nothing too much exciting there talking about existing staff at Carrington. He said, you're very encouraging to the players in training, always giving advice. He said, that is my job, to construct a team and to improve that team. You can do it in different ways, in more ways, but to start out, it is a philosophy. And he talks about rules and principles. And I know it's all basic, but I keep saying this, like United have got to be stripped down to the bare wood again. Take all the paint off, sand it all down, fill in all the holes. We have to get stripped back to the basics. So that's why the idea of speaking about uh, philosophy, geez, we can go back to Louis van Gaal if you want to talk about philosophy. Philosophy is only good if it's the right one. Rules and principles and he, uh, standards. He loves using the word standards. And that's just that the Sonic of the United have just massively forgotten. Massively forgotten. So again, I don't know. Ten Hag talks a good game, but he's not trying to talk a good game. It's just, this is who Ten Hag is. And this is the man up there that is in charge now of the vision of our football club. He's the man spearheading where we're going, right? And the direction our football is going. Obviously, work behind the scenes has nothing really to do with him. But it's going to be his input. He will change how these Manchester United players think and act. 
and play, of course. Uh, go down here talking about um, Ajax having a dominant record over final and how he brought in Tyrell Malassir. And look, I like that little part there. He suits the profile. And we all know full well about the profiles of signings. And you've seen this little video, but I like this little clip. Hey, bring in the first sign, eh? Hey. <laughs> he's happy. He's happy as Larry. He really is. And I'll tell you who else is. I keep saying it, but that beaming smile, man, it's infectious. Uh, uh, those words there, though, if I go back to this, suits the profile. That's what this signing is. And that's the, the, it's the beginnings of what need to be different signings at Manchester United from now on. Profile signings. Players sign for a specific reason, for a specific role, and they have a set of attributes that tick those boxes. Profiled, smart signings. And he's going to come in and bring that work ethic. Bring those things that we were talking about there. Talk about standards, talking about energy. Every, everything that this squad was lacking last season is sitting right there next to Eric Ten Hag, I think, anyway. Let's find out in the preseason. Let's, go, let's not get too excited, Sam. But I like that. He suits the profile, for sure. That's what we need, right? Uh, go down here. And of course, we've, we'll see this on Tuesday, right? We keep it proactive style of football on and off the ball. And it's down to these players as to whether or not they show that. Liverpool, well, we're, good. we're probably going to get pumped. But we need to see the framework of this proactive style of football. How does a team work and hopefully having a higher line? If you haven't checked my video out where I run through what my predicted 11 is for the Liverpool game, make sure you check that out. I think it's a good one. Uh, sort of sit, uh, talk about the, 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 the blueprints that I want to see. I want to see playing with a slightly higher line. I want to see good interchanging, good passing, good movement, good ball retention, good ball recycling. How does a pressing work from the front line? Foundations that we'll start to see of this Eric Ten Hag system. So that was part one of the interview, right? But I personally think that part two of the interview was even more interesting. And there was one standout quote from this that I definitely want to speak to you about. We go down here and he, and he was asked, you know, how, is imp how important is a full preseason? He's like, yeah, you know the season. Often this level, you don't have so much time to train. I mean, football's crazy now. It's like a game every three days is exactly what you're saying there. But a preseason is important. And I know that's why so many of you are frustrated beyond belief. Because you know and feel that we should have our signings done. And yes, we should have our signings done. But we don't. And it is frustrating. And there's nothing else you can really say about that. Because Man United, I don't think Man United planned to go on this preseason tour with one new signing. Right? I think we all know that. Uh, but going down here, Eric Ten Hag was you know, towards a great opportunity, not only for existing first team players, but also some of the younger players. What advice would you give to any younger players coming on the preseason tour? And for me, this is the standout quote. He goes, what I want to see is that they learn, but they also show themselves because they have to deserve a position in top football. You have to deserve your position, repeating himself. It means you have to deliver every day. That demands a certain style. A certain way of life that they have to adapt to that they probably don't know yet. But I'm really looking forward to seeing if they can do it. I hope one or two, they can prove themselves and they come into the squad. But if they want to enter the dressing room, they have to deserve it. And I'll tell you what, this question might be geared towards um, younger players. But I think this is just a big shout out to this entire first team squad. It's not a... It's not just about a Manchester United uh, making some small changes. Re you can read it there. It's an entire lifestyle switch. And we know what Eric Ten Hag's been, been doing behind the scenes uh, in sort of changing the diet, uh, earlier into training, different intensity, different energy levels. He wants to control the BMIs, monthly checks. A complete and utter lifestyle switch, which these players will have no idea about. Not just Ahmad and Bruno. Is that Bruno? It is Bruno the tattoo in his arm that really excites me that right there is this blueprint that right there is what eric ten hag is trying to do talking about deserving your position nobody's going to get it on name and name alone play players on form players who deserve it players who work their way into that position no matter what their age is you deserve to be there you will be there and it needs a certain style a certain way of life that they have to adapt to and look they don't know yet they probably don't know what that is to be a a consummate professional. They don't. They haven't for years. And that is the blueprint of everything. And, and I trust that Ten Hag is a man. Because it's, it's all well and good. 
demanding these standards. But I think Ten Hag has set those standards since he came in as manager. I think Eric Ten Hag has presented himself working for Manchester United the day after winning the title with Ajax. Could have been in the Caribbean, chilling, feet up on the beach, pina colada. Nobody would have begrudged him. He deserved that break. Didn't take it. Worked straight away because he knew he had work to do. Came to Manchester United, did, was it two full week, one, one full week of work? Got everything done. Set the tone with those. He's there every, of course he's there every single day in training, Sam. I mean, that, that's not what I'm trying to get at here. But I think Ten Hag has set the standards. And therefore, the players can really be held accountable. But that is definitely, for me, the most important quote. And that is the blueprint. If they want to enter the dressing room, they have to deserve it. There are no passengers anymore. I think those games, right? You remember last season, season before, those games that were frustrating with Manchester United, you, just, you, you look at them and you go, where the hell is the team that played last week? The performance level just dropped off, off a cliff in between games. Sometimes inside a game as well. And you're like, how? Where is, where is that level gone? I think Ten Hag will make sure that this new minimum level never drops below a certain standard. Because if it does, the players will be booted out of the team. So for me, that, that's, the, that, that, that's the core of the... That's the biggest thing, biggest takeaway from this interview, I would say, is that. Goes down here, talks about uh, the preseason games, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing really too interesting about that. Again, down here, boom. You are setting standards and demands. High standards making values and making rules he does carry he does carry a sort of a, a disciplinarian way of speaking semi that's just it's kind of a dutch mannerism uh, that's, that's just the way he presents himself some people consider it blunt but it's just direct and i like direct i think these players need direct they they they, they they've complained so often about not knowing what's going on they know exactly what's going on with eric ten hard they might not like it 100 percent of the time but they cannot say that they don't understand what he's trying to do uh, what we what will you be looking for performance wise the highest standards you expect the maximum demand the maximum setting standards high standards eric ten Hag is repeating and repeating and repeating the same thing over and over again about what he expects from these players and what he expects for this manchester united team going forward what we should see this season is our team never drop below like a five out of ten and a 5 out of 10 isn't good enough. It's not going to be... That's good, not good enough to win the Premier League at all, right? We need to be getting 7, 8, 9s out of 10 every single week to be challenging with the likes of Liverpool and City. But what we need to first and foremost do is <laughs> bring the floor up before we can start pointing towards the ceiling. And that means bringing these standards up so that the, the minimum level of performance never drops below what we should expect from Manchester United. And as, Ter as Eric Ten Hag was describing there, those words are so important. Demanding the maximum, the highest standards. It's what these players will be expected to do. And that is the blueprint and the plan for, for Ten Hag in terms of how he feels that he's going to transform Manchester United. And I really enjoyed that two-part that, that, that two interview. You can let me know what you think about it in the comments below. But this week, the preseason kicks off. I'll cover it as best as I possibly can. Um, and I'm sure you'll join me for it. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm excited about it. I'll be more excited when we make more signings. And I think you all know that too. But look, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's see what goes on, Ten Hag. Let's see. I want to see it.